that sucks. Today's video is gonna be all torque, all dad, because I just got back from my annual trip, the Brozarks. My buddies and I always take a yearly trip down to the Ozarks, just us guys, and we have a ton of fun. Dad got a lot of stuff done while I was gone. I'm glad to be back. I'm ready to help him get some more stuff done. We're back in our regular routine after this video, so be patient with Dad. He's trying his best with everything, with all the angles and being a one-man show. So with that being said, Let's get right into the video. Morning, we're in for round two. The corn on bean ground is all done. And so I gotta switch this rig over to our corn on corn. So I'm gonna put a little more nitrogen on. So I've gotta change, I've gotta change these orifices. I gotta put a little bigger orifice in there. And then I had to go ahead and change the pump. The pump was set on three and I gotta bump it up to four because I'm gonna put 20 pounds more uh, per acre on the corn on corn ground because when you have beans you get a little bit of nitrogen um, from your beans the year before and when you plant corn on corn you don't have that nitrogen so we put a little extra on to help that out two different sets of orifices so the outside the outside row on this rig it actually does two rows so it has a bigger orifice and then all the rest of them have these smaller orifices so we just got to go along and I already loosened this one up. We gotta take this off, not drop the other one. Take that out. And this was a 93, so we're going from a 93 to a 107. Then we drop that in there. Make sure it's good. Put that puppy back in there. Then just, sorry, I got a crescent wrench. That's all I had in the tractor. Doesn't have to be super tight. So I'm gonna go to the other side and do that one first so that I don't mess up. Oh, I should have known. It's gonna turn. That's how it goes. Maybe I got another, I think I got another crescent wrench in the toolbox on the tractor. Hi, Dukas. Leave my hat alone. You leave my hat. Lucas wanted my hat. No, you knucklehead. It's my birthday present. Oh, looky there. Actually, I'll take that one. Jeez, I think there's four crescent wrenches in there. Okay, try it again. There we go. Hey, they're even the same size. Kudos to the Whitoff crew for actually putting in the right size orifice to start with. It's like a Swiss watch up there at Whitoff Farm Supply. Okay, so I'll put the, that one in there. Now, basically, I can't screw up now because all of these are the same. After all that screwing around, the tank's loaded, greased everything. I could wash the windows, but I'm probably not going to. I'm going to fold this back up, circle around, fill up my big, my big cup, and head to the field. I'm gonna stop and get my cup and some snacks. Gotta have snacks. Bear with me. So, my garage is full. I can't park in my garage because all of this stuff is going to the mercantile, which is, this will do farmhouses 
new project. She's opening a store in the town of Washington called The Mercantile. Follow her on Instagram. Gonna be all kinds of stuff that you can't live without. And because I'm gonna get it all out of this garage, then I can live without it. I can get back to parking in here. Hi. Yeah, it's on right now. Got anything to say? Got anything sharp to say? Look at me. <laughs> So I got this whole 130 acres done yesterday. So there's about 95 acres up here. Get it done today and then on to the next project. Before we start, I'm gonna go look and make sure that I actually, that I actually opened the valve on the tank. Uh, I didn't. So you see this valve here, when you're filling, you want that shut because when you're pumping, you can act, it'll actually leak past the pump a little bit, and it'll be dripping out of the dripping out of your applicator, so it's off. But you want to make sure that's open because there's nothing more frustrating than uh, doing a few acres and then having this sneaking suspicion that something's not right, and then you look back because you forgot to look back, and there's nothing coming out of these, and then you remember, oh yeah, I didn't open the valve, so. Hey, we're already ahead of the game. progress i got the ends done pretty nice field of corn this is the nicest ground that we have we pattern tiled this whole thing about 10 years ago there's sawyer's hog building there's site one side and I'm getting closer to that side and that's the goal we just about got it whipped about an hour and I ought to be ought to be finished with this ought to be finished with this project so it's a pretty nice day and we're finally getting some heat doesn't sound like we're gonna get any rain until the weekend and that's exactly what this corn needs is some heat it's supposed to be up in the 80s tomorrow and the humidity is gonna start and now that I've spoon fed all this uh, corn with a little nitrogen and some goodies it should grow like hell so now if it just keeps raining a little bit well i made it i would have had some stunning video for you of me getting unhooked from the applicator and talking to my guy from wit off farm supply except i turned the camera off and i thought i turned it on so you didn't get any of that but anyway we got it all done everything's been fertilized this is the corn on bean ground and this is what i side dressed yesterday i should have put a yardstick out here and marked where it was yesterday and where it was today because i swear it grew overnight but it looks a lot greener today of course it doesn't i mean it doesn't hurt we've got sun we got heat we don't have much humidity yet but the humidity's coming tomorrow man it really looks good like we said earlier this is the first year that we've done we add a little boron and some zinc to our side dress mix and we're gonna see what that does the wild card in this whole thing is if it rains last year our corn looked phenomenal it would have been one of the best it would have been the best crop i've probably ever raised but then it just decided to quit raining and our corn actually turned out way better than what it could have been, but not near as good as it could have been either. So I'd say right now my stand and the emergence 
and just the way it looks now is as good or better than it was last year with the changes we've made if we can just grab a few rains here and there this could be one of the best crops that i've ever had but i'm pretty sure i probably will tell you that every year because if you're farming you got to be an optimist every year could be the crop the best crop you've ever had but